down. Seven million to go. Million. Million. Gotta get inside outdoors on the big game. I come to life before opening day. It's a twisted addiction calls my name. I gotta get inside outdoors on the big Typical Dave Poteet timing. <laughs> hey, we've been hooking it. We had to do some try. Yeah, one bad. How you doing there, Mr. Walker? Good. Mr. Atwell, thought y'all would be ready. You look like you're ready for a to tee off. See clean shaven. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I would just need to get them boys killing something. Shane and I are going to be your camera operators. And those will be your hosts. The hostess. Well, it's back to the land of Lincoln for the IOTV team. We're back at Harlan Outfitters, and we're trying to catch up with some of those corn-fed monsters. And Matt and Shane left Tulsa at about 2 a.m. Dave and I just finished up a hunt in northern Missouri. We headed to Heartland, and we all got there right about the same time. Now, last year, Shane and I had the tags. This year, it's Matt and Tim out front, and time's a-wasting. And there's no need to wait. We changed our clothes, dropped our gear, and we're all on the stand by 3.30. It's our first night in Illinois. As you can tell, it's a little warm. I'm just wearing bare minimum, and it's kind of windy. And we are way up here. We're, <laughs> we gotta be 20, 25 feet in the air. But it's because there's bigger ridges behind us, and you know you gotta do what you gotta do to get out of their line of sight. It's 3:30, November 19th. And we're in Illinois. We are pumped. It's a little bit warm today, but uh, today and tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit warm. It's supposed to possibly rain tomorrow night, which is fine because it's blowing in a cold front. Wednesday, highs in the 40s, get down, calling for a wintry mix. I've heard rumors that the rut's getting kicking back in. I'm excited. I am ready to do this. So stick around and see what happens. together. Figured out it's early. We'll see if we can't stir up some action. There's a great big line of down timber basically right there. And of course he came in right on the other side. And it looked like he, he stopped there and was looking for a place and he thought he was going to go around the end and come back up. But uh, first afternoon First, five First deer is a shooter. They told us on the way here that the rut was rocking. It's running a little bit late. Just in time for IOTV to come to Illinois. 
The cold weather's finally here. After hunting three years in a tropical heat wave up there, it's finally shaping up to be the way it's supposed to be in November in Illinois. Cold. And the drop in temperature definitely got the deer on their feet, and not just under our stand. So it's time for me and Matt to finally break the ice. It's cold, man. I should have brought some tissue and just shoved it in my nose. <laughs> it won't creep around. It's cold. Most of my money. <laughs> in cooler That's why you come to Hartley. Well, two down and two to go, but that's usually the easy part. Now we can focus on something with some head ornaments. Well, the next morning actually started off surprisingly slow, but that afternoon we hauled old Hammer the decoy out to a turnip patch and he stirred up some action. Time to pack them on now. Not only is it trying to snow, but it's 30 degrees and 20 mile an hour winds. God, I love deer hunting. <laughs> well, it's the second to last day. Weather conditions seem absolutely perfect. The storm that moved through stopped sometime last night. I had a little snow like this <clears throat> all day long. But this morning, we didn't see a deer. Have no idea why, unless they were just bedded down super early for some reason. <clears throat> so we're in the stand early today. It's about 1.30, hunting over a turnip patch. <clears throat> Figure they gotta get hungry, right? <laughs> so, we got a hammer out here. Got his ears pinned back, it means business. So, big boy steps out, 
It worked for Dave the last couple of years. Hopefully that'll work today. snow it's not exactly hail I'm not really sure what it is it doesn't hurt but it's dang on cold <laughs> yeah it's kind of like dipping dots ice cream getting all over hammer. I guess just wait it out. Storm. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I think it packed a little bit of snow on the side of the old decoy. Hammer's a little white on his left side there. I think uh, an old big boy out there just figured something wasn't right. That close. So close, yet so far away. That buck came from 200 yards into 60. I needed him to get to the 40 yard line, and thanks to some ice cream on my decoy, he decided to call off the approach. Well, what is the deal? I mean, land of Lincoln, Illinois for us is the land of almost. No kidding, and our hunt's almost over. We got one morning left, so we're gonna try it again. Are you on? You get the camera roll? Can you get on him? He's out, he's 80 yards out. Small he was. He'll be a giant. 
You make a buck. Yeah, you look nice. We're hoping for something a little bit bigger. It's getting tough to be picky on the very last morning now. Not really an Illinois deer, but... Man, it's all on Matt and Shane's shoulders now. Well, they're gonna stay an extra day to give it one more chance, but what they saw coming across a food plot just might make it worth it. That's him. Oh, dude. Oh, he's got a sticker coming straight. Double stickers coming off his head. South or coming from the north over here off to the west and heading back to the south. There's a little pocket over here. And you know, we saw a good buck this morning. I'd like to get a closer look to see if he's a definite shooter or not, but uh, as of right now, I might shoot him <laughs> given the opportunity. So uh, we got about two hours to sit and see what happens. A lot of action this morning. Hopefully, it'll stay the same. Unfortunately, very serious. You know, if somebody wanted to know whether or not we genuinely loved a deer hunt, all they'd have to do is look at our track record in Illinois the past couple of years, because the only thing we've gotten out of that state is a pretty good brow beating. Uh, more like a pistol whipped. Like slapped around. I'm gonna slap you around. Yeah, M me? All I was doing was running the camera. <laughs> I gotta get inside, outdoors, huh?